Maquati. No, Paco Masadi. No, no, Passa Massi. Aquata Mapati. I learned Maine history in school. I have read several books about New England and Maine, as well as New Brunswick and Canada. I have even written a few books myself. A topic that has always interested me is the culture of the area's first residents, the Native Americans. According to Maine state law, Maine Native American history and culture must be taught in all elementary and secondary schools, both public and private." End quote. This video is to engage K through 12 students by providing interesting facts about the Passamaquoddy Native American tribe, comply with Maine state law, and have teachers a resource that they can incorporate into existing lesson plans. The Algonquin World The Maine Wabanaki tribes, Passamaquoddy, Mi'kmaq, Meliseet, Abenaki, and Penobscot, speak an Algonquin dialect. The Algonquin-speaking world stretched from the Great Lakes to modern-day Nova Scotia, Canada. Therefore, the Wabanaki tribes share a common ancestry. These main tribes are collectively called Wabanaki, or Children of the Light or Dawn. Devity in Maine and New Brunswick. For over 10,000 years, the Passamaquoddy tribe has lived between the modern-day St. John, St. Croix, and Penobscot rivers. However, the first recorded European contact was in 1604 by Samuel de Champlain. As William Kilby noted in his 1888 book, Eastport and Passamaquoddy, Quote, the Passamaquoddies never seem to have been numerous. In fact, there are more of them now than ever before, end quote. Currently, Pleasant Point has 850 inhabitants, and Indian Township has 800 residents. Why are there variations in spellings? Like most pre-literate cultures, the Passamaquoddy maintained their rich cultural heritage via oral traditions and expressions including songs, poems, prayers, and dances. Because the Passamaquoddy did not have a written language, there are several variations in phonetic spellings. The word Passamaquoddy is anglicized, meaning people who spear pollock, whereas Meliseet means people of the St. John River. Refer to a Passamaquoddy Meliseet dictionary for a detailed linguistic study of the Passamaquoddy language and current approved spellings. There is also a free companion web portal with over 18,000 tribal approved entries, and thousands of audio clips with pronunciation by native speakers. Other names associated with the tribe. Artifacts such as arrowheads, pottery, flutes, and baskets are associated with various Native American tribes and called different names by different peoples. Likewise, the Passamaquoddy tribe have been called various names. For example, the tribes between the St. John and Penobscot rivers were once referred to as Echemin by the French, with the Passamaquoddy specifically called Openangos, an apparent corruption of the native Wabanaki. American Patriots before American citizens. During the Revolutionary War, the Passamaquoddy actively supported the American struggle for independence from Great Britain. After Maine achieved statehood in 1820, the new state reclaimed Passamaquoddy lands and sold its lucrative timber rights, a direct violation of the 1794 treaty. However, Passamaquoddy men valiantly fought with distinction during the Civil War and World War I, even though they were not considered U.S. citizens until Congress passed the Indian Citizenship Act of 1924. After being granted the right to vote, the Passamaquoddy have honorably served in every American conflict, including World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, the Persian Gulf War, and the Global War on Terror. What is land claims money? In appreciation of their support during the American Revolution, the fledgling American Congress passed the Indian Trade and Intercourse Act of 1790, designed to curtail tribal land exploitation, but violators were never enforced. Furthermore, the 1794 treaty between the Passamaquoddy tribe and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts conveyed to the tribal reservation at Indian Township, Pleasant Point, Pine Island, and over a dozen St. Croix Islands. In 1980, two pieces of legislation reinvigorated the Passamaquoddy people, the State Maine Implementing Act and the Federal Maine Indian Claims Settlement Act. These two acts 
ushered in the historic $81.5 million claim settlement. This not only conferred sovereign status for the Passaporty tribe with the state and federal governments, but encouraged purchasing 300,000 acres to reestablish tribal land. What is a Passamaquoddy? Indigenous people living in Maine and New Brunswick for 10,000 years, 18,000 approved entries in their dictionary. They've had various names, including the Wabanaki. They supported every American war since independence from Great Britain. And in 1980, they received $81.5 million in a historic lands claim settlement. Kwadi! <laughs> I know.